Hi everyone this is Yunus welcome to my channel in this video i would like to take you through the tool vpc reachability analyzer which helps us in finding out if two entities for example two ec2 instances if they are reachable from one another and if it is not you can find out the reason maybe it is a security group issue maybe it is a nacl issue maybe it is because one of the ec2 instances is down so you'll be able to find out if these two ec2 instances are reachable and if not it will give you the reason so let us find out So I have two EC2 instances here. One is in a public subnet. You can see that here. If you go to networking, you can see that it is in a public subnet. Okay. So it has its public IPv4 address, etc. Now I have another EC2 which is in a private subnet. If you go to networking again, you can see there is no public IPv4. It is in a private subnet. Okay. Now I want to find out if the communication path from the public EC2 to the private EC2, if that communication path is clear or not whether it is reachable or not so how do i find out that i can use reachability analyzer so come here and open reachability analyzer reachability analyzer so click on this and first you have to create an analyze path you have to give the source and destination then only you can find out whether the reachability is there or not so let me create the path first so i'll say public to private ec2 any name you can give i'm just giving this name source type is an instance and please note it is not just ec2 there are many other entities which you can select transit gateways vpc endpoints VPT, vpn gateways many things but here i'm checking only instances and you can see that only the vpc entities are possible you can't select an s3 or dynamo db etc so i'll select source type pass instance and source i have a few ec2 instances i want to select the public ec2 in public subnet so i selected that trust you can leave it as here you can leave it as default that is okay destination type is also an instance and then destination is private subnet this one now protocol tcp that is okay you can select tcp or udp that is okay name of this path is public to private ec2 that is fine now create an analyze path so analysis it is pending it is going on so once it is over it will show you the path and it will show you whether it was successful or failure and where it actually failed so let us wait for that okay so you can see that it says it is not reachable so let us find out the details this come down so it says not reachable okay so if you come down you can see the source ec2 in public subnet okay outbound header a destination address is this this is the ip address of my private ec2 okay which ends with 139.106 you can go and check this ends with 139.106 that is fine and the next stop is the eni because that message first it has to go through the eni the elastic network interface and that eni is attached with this vpc and this particular subnet and so there there is no issue then it is coming to the security group security group has this entry outbound entry for 0.0.0.0/0 which means that any traffic is allowed outbound so that is okay then it goes to the access control list nacl nacl so there also there is an outbound rule which permits this particular traffic because this cider range represents every possible ip address so it allows then it checks the root table root table says okay it's a local or it is within my vpc so that is also fine now it enters the acl of the private subnet or network access control list of the private subnet there also there is inbound allow rule is there so that is also fine and the next one is the eni that is also fine but the next one fails it says none of the ingress rules in the following security groups apply so this particular security group has an issue it doesn't have a proper inbound rule so what i will do is i will go and edit this one i'll go and edit the inbound rule for that security group let us see what what it says so this is the inbound rule for that security group it actually allows http traffic from this particular source but our source actually doesn't belong to this uh, ip address you can go and see that this is 172.38 but here if you look at this source this is 172.31 so what i will do is come here and uh, just edit inbound rules and i'm going to delete this and add a rule for http and uh, source custom 
and I will say 172.31.0.0 slash 16 because our source IP address belong to this CIDR range. Save rules. Okay, now it should be reachable. So how will I check? I will go back to the reachability analyzer and uh, I don't need to delete this analysis but I will go here and I will go here and click on analyze path again. So here you can confirm this is optional so just say confirm. Now come down. You can say request to reanalyze path succeeded refresh table so refresh this or you can just refresh it here so the the previous one failed and this one is successful so let us see what happens there in this so this part we anyway checked the issue was at the last part last part also there is no issue so it actually the the security group you can see the security group it actually allows so this is a very useful tool when you are actually working in a very complex, when your project has a sort of complex networking environment. And if you want to find out if two EC2 instances, if they can communicate with each other, or if you want to check if the EC2 can communicate with a transit gateway or internet gateway, those things also you can actually find out using reachability analyzer. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I will come back with more useful videos soon. Thank you. Bye.